Welcome, namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this video, we're going to discuss on the penis size for pregnancy. So, so what's very important to understand here is that many men associate the size of their organ, uh, you know, with their masculinity as well as a sense of power. So, men with you know larger penis size are more comfortable overall with their self, you know, perceived body image. They are more confident, you know, they, and they are also in general their sexual sexual satisfaction for these men as perceived by men themselves is usually higher. Over 55% of men find their penis size and overall size of their organ to be very, very small and dissatisfactory in general. And some of these men become so paranoid and traumatized that they completely even avoid sexual intercourse in certain instances. This has resulted you know, in a large number of men you know, actually see seeking size enhancing surgeries, which in recent times has come under criticism from the American Urological Association stating that uh, penis size increasing surgeries are largely risky by nature itself. So what is the mean average penis size? Now, initial studies which were reported from the Kinsey Institute of Sexual Health, you know, which was actually one of the original studies where they estimated sexual, where they estimated penis size. The average size reported in about uh, 2,000 to 3,000 men, self-reported questionnaire surveys, uh, collected, you know, which was basically collected somewhere in the year 1984, was about 16.77 centimeters erect length of the penis. But in more recent times, with more data that's more widely available, we now know that the mean average penis size is anywhere from about 5 inches to 5.5 inches. Now, if you have a penis size that is anywhere more than 4 inches or anywhere more than 3.5 inches in terms of erect length, then that is more than adequate for a pregnancy. There are two particular clinical conditions where the penis size may be insufficient with respect to pregnancy. One is a condition called as buried penis. Here, basically what happens is, if you look at the image on the left, the penis is basically buried. The size will be you know, less than 3 cm or 4 cm and it's buried in the prepubic fat. In men who are morbidly obese, in men who have Klinefelter syndrome sometimes, and in patients who have hypogonotrophic hypogonadism, sometimes the penis will be buried. So here, getting pregnant is going to be hard for these men. Uh, I mean, helping their partner achieve a pregnancy is going to be hard. And another condition where you know where we see penis size, you know, as you know, probably you know, the, uh, as an issue is another condition called as micro penis or very very small penis. So in these men, what basically happens is the organ itself is there's a congenital developmental issue, and the organ is usually less than three centimeter or two point five centimeter in length. And over here, we have to do a lot of genetic conditions. A thorough physical examination is usually required. And small penis, buried penis, micro penis uh, you know, are all issues you know, where pregnancy can be a challenge. For a large number of men, however, 55 to 60% of men whose penis size is usually normal, you know, they themselves perceive that the size is problematic. So in these instances, visiting an androgynous near you or a sexologist near you, getting a proper estimate of your penis size may be you know, very, very helpful in alleviating those doubts. And, uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video on you know penis size. What is the penis size required to get pregnant? Uh, I'll be coming up with many more videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, do do share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah. Welcome and namaste.